I'm using this AI tool to 10x my social media output. And now you can use it too. Did you know that if you're a personal brand that sells anything online, whether it's goods or services, books, courses, making websites, whatever, people need a couple of interactions with you before they are ready to buy. And the best way to do that is through social media content. If you show up in their feed every now and then, they start to remember you and it's a lot easier for them to purchase from you. This is why I'm active on social media. Today, I'm gonna tell you about a technique that I use for two of them, Instagram and LinkedIn. I grew my Instagram account to 53,000 followers organically. The thing that contributed the most was posting daily, but that also led to a huge problem. The problem is that creating a single post took anywhere between an hour and 90 minutes every single day. That's between 7 and 10 hours every week to just make the posts. And then some extra time to reframe those posts for LinkedIn and other platforms. One eternity later. I hate wasting time. I made a tool that allows me to post to both platforms and it takes me less than one hour every week. That is up to 10 times faster than before. It's called Reactable and it's awesome. Big bands feeling generous. Got a big house, that's my preference. Sitting pretty at the top, Mount Everest. Yeah, I'm bouncing, dripping sauce. And the main announcement here is the early bird, because this is still a very early version of the startup. We're still working on a ton of new features, but you can join right now and get it two times cheaper if you're one of the first 300 people who are joining. So that way you will be able to get all the new features without paying more. Of course, you can also just go and sign up for the free trial and just test it for free. Let's talk about another huge problem of social media, AI on social media. As you know, AI-generated content on social media is mostly slow. Low quality, garbage, inhuman, and it looks a little bit like those old SEO articles. Just some keywords, but it doesn't really resonate with anybody. It lacks engagement, it lacks personal touch, it lacks that human factor or whatever you can call it. That was the biggest challenge while creating an AI tool to help you with posting content. But I think we solved it. Reactable is not generative AI. What it means is that you don't just type in a prompt, push a button and spew some garbage onto the internet. That's not how it works. What it does, it creates a post blueprint for you, including the cover image, and then lets you add your personal touch, your human connection on top of that. The platform is self-learning, so after a while it learns your style and suggests posts that are closer to it, so you can make even less tweaks to that. But still that personal connection, that human factor, is necessary every step of the way and we're not getting rid of it. You can also train it on your own photos, so that way the cover images are actually you which is pretty awesome. I always have a lot of fun imagining myself in all kinds of scenarios that are fitting the post theme. And I'm also using Reactable to make most of my YouTube thumbnails. You create a brand, pick a style, and it stays consistent for you, so you can keep posting and not focusing on the little details. And the best part is that it's a self-learning platform. So if you upload a post through Reactable, it learns how the post is doing, what are the engagements, and then it tries to figure out why that post was more popular and then use that knowledge in the future while structuring the copy or the images. Okay, let me show you how it works. We let in some creators to use the platform a little earlier and they love it. It works in any language and for every category. They quickly see that they can make the post themselves fast instead of learning a design tool or paying an agency. This tool transforms their workflow and I love hearing their feedback. 
You start with a list of projects, both posted and drafts, and the posted ones get analyzed in the background for performance improvements in the future. Let's go ahead and create a new post. You start by typing in the general idea. If you want, you can be specific, but you don't really have to. You can let AI pick the styles or pick your consistent branding, then the number of slides and let's pick AIU to generate me. So let's type what I'm wearing and what I'm doing exactly. Then pick how serious you want it to be, pick a layout and click create. And this is the first blueprint of your post. You can modify every part here. Like the overlay under the photo, you can change its color, you can change its position, you can modify the font color so it's always visible on all backgrounds. Since it's a blueprint, let's modify the content ourselves. The colors of all the other slides are automatically picked so they are matching the photo in the first slide. So if you change the photo, the colors of all the other slides will change. But you can of course manually tweak them. Use the text as a guidance and then write it in your own words, how you would talk to a friend. If you want more slides, just click the plus and they will be generated for you. You can tweak the copy, the colors, the layout or simply rearrange the slides by dragging them around. And when you're ready to post, you will get a description and some hashtags. But of course you're free to add anything to it. This also uses the first slide and the content of all the other ones to post automatically to LinkedIn as well. You get a preview before you post then just click a button and the post goes right to Instagram. This is my second fitness oriented Instagram account. For this one, I'm gonna show you how you can modify the AI generated photo. So I'm writing a simple prompt for what I want on the photo right here and then we'll generate a post. Okay, we got a photo, but it's not completely perfect, so I want to modify both the clothing and the position. This time I want to be sitting in a chair by the table. Okay, this is what I wanted, but let's go a little bit more crazy. Now I'm gonna change myself into a more overweight version of me and eating a hamburger instead of broccoli. Okay, that photo is a nice cautionary tale. Let's bring it back to my natural body weight, but let's see how I would look like with full sleeve tattoos. Now that is pretty interesting. Let's modify the text and how it looks like on the photo so it matches it better. And as you can see, the proposed colors for the other slides are perfectly matching the photo. And once again, you can drag and rearrange everything. And you can also go pretty crazy with a location. So now let's see how I would look like while eating this same hamburger with the fries while riding a roller coaster. Okay, this isn't exactly what I wanted, so let's modify it. I don't want the fries anymore and I want a more scared looking face. And just like that, you can modify every part of the post. Our future plans include creating video reels with your face and voice but with the ability for you to add those personal quirks manually. And of course, there will be even more creativity in how every slide looks, but shh, I can't talk about that now. We also have a regular photo generator in the works, both on the web and in the app. So if you just want to make some YouTube thumbnails, you'll be able to do that as well. I'm already using the beta for my YouTube thumbnails and many other visuals that I'm doing all across social media. It's all up to you, but I suggest you go and try it because this saves me a ton of time and it's an amazing tool for social media post creation. The future is going to be creator economy, but it can't be purely generative. That removes that human soul, that connection, that human factor from it. And we believe that it has to be in for it to work. So instead of making something completely for you, we just give you the building blocks to create something uniquely awesome yourself, but faster. Because a true personal brand in the future is going to be when AI intersects with your humanity, with your personality. That makes it personal. It has to understand you, it has to analyze, and it has to be pretty reactable. Yeah.